Hey everyone, Rick Ryan here. Okay, as you can see, I got the uh, top of the engine on the racing tractor pulled apart. And I uh, did what a few people said. Um, I unhooked this wire right here, which is the kill wire for the engine, for this coil. And I hooked up my tack wire, which is this one right here. I did have to lengthen it out a bit. And nothing. So... I haven't checked my uh, comments on my video from yesterday yet. Hopefully I got some something there to get some ideas on uh, what's going on here. I'm still going to try out those other two coils. One or one or the other should work. And I'm going to see uh, if I get a signal off of that and uh, see if I can get this to work. But I made a discovery. I didn't notice this before. There's actually an extra wire in here. So this probably did have or had the provisions for the... Um, for the hour meter that I believe it would be ran off the coil, but uh, it was just never put on this engine. Uh, this engine has a lot of provisions for stuff that it just it never had. Um, the uh, larger starter, obviously that right there, a few other electronics that would have been on these coilers. Probably if this was a little bit higher end tractor, it probably would have had those other items on it. But um, also I got lucky, and uh, this little guy right here. Everybody should know what that is. It was actually sitting uh, right down there. So it must have slipped through on the top and slipped through the thins. And luckily, it was sitting right there and did not get jammed up in the flywheel. Got really lucky on that. But um, it's a few things. Uh, that's why you should always have your top cover on. I know I'm being a little bit of a hypocrite because I don't have mine on. But I'm trying to get the engine finished up. But then the top cover will be going back on. So, I'm going to post this video right away, as soon as, as soon as I uh, read my comments. And I'm going to try my other idea for the tack, and uh, see if I can get it to work. So, I'll talk to you later. Please keep it redneck like always, and uh, please subscribe and comment.